just happened? Oh my god, look at the bandit. Bandit just went over the fence. What is going on everybody, Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment and we are back at long last here in Wreckfest on a Wreckfest Wednesday. This is the best way to ever make a return ever than with Wreckfest Wednesday, right? This is going to be a lot of fun here today because we have a brand new track in store. We are here at Pennsboro, brand new track to Wreckfest. Just put in the very track pack just a few days ago, I believe, so I'm very much looking forward to checking this track out. I did one quick test run and it was a lot of fun. So hopefully this little Crisco car we got here doesn't get cooked up on the track today uh, and we can have some success. But before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, obviously we have something to address during our absence from the channel. We hit an unbelievable milestone. We cracked 200,000 subscribers. And of course, obviously we have to acknowledge that and say, Thank you so much to everybody out there who has subscribed to this channel and I just I, I can't even articulate it and put it into words how much it means to me and just how monumental all of this success that you guys have brought to this channel is it's just it's changed my life it sounds cliche I know it I find I, I'm horrible about finding the right words to do these kind of things but it really has changed my life it is going on five years now that we've been doing this. I started this channel when I was, what, going into being a sophomore in high school, and I've been graduated for a few years now. I pretty much do this full time, and it's just been a blast, man. It's been an incredible ride up to this point, and uh, I ain't done. I ain't anywhere close to done yet. I'm ready to keep it on chugging and uh, keep going and plugging away at it, and as long as you guys are enjoying it, uh, I will continue to do it, and that is basically the motto uh, of this channel, so... Thank you guys, of course, so much for that. It really means a ton. Uh, and I know I'm not always the best about wording my thank yous, but just thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and with that, I think it's about time we get back into some racing action, wouldn't you say? So let's go ahead and do that right now here at Pensboro Speedway and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and jump into this race car. Starting towards the back, too, here we've got, we've got the legendary Jimmy Johnson right behind me uh, being piloted by Bobby Hillen Jr. So there you have it. And we're going to sneak to that outside right off the bat here. And we got a tire check right off the start as well. Oh, we got cars getting turned around right in front of us already, and it's a squeeze. It is a massive squeeze right here. We've got a big one. The Skull Band is going over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and the Country Time car in our... Oh, we have taken a shunt into the wall right off the bat. Right, let's get this thing turned around here. Not the neatest start in the world. But we'll be all... Oh, I don't even hate to see it when we just get squeezed in between another set of cars. All right, we got Harry Gann here. We got David Pearson trying to figure out which way is the right way. And uh, hasn't had too much success in that journey. Oh, and we're going to pile into the back of Michael Waltrip's 30 car. And I am just getting beaten to death. Oh, watch out. And that is it. That is it. Didn't even complete the first lap. We were mere feet away from the start finish line and we were struck down in our glory all right ron bouchard up here can i sneak that outside of ron bouchard right off the start we seem to be pretty good at it last time and we are pretty good at it here again there's another tire check no shortage of tire checks here today am i gonna get squeezed though again i pulled out of it a little bit sooner Giggity. oh oh jeff no jeff why would you do this ricky rudd in a jeff gordon car and they're just having oh my god look at the bandit bandit just went over the fence Oh my word, we just had one clear the fence. Oh, what a tire check. That might have been the biggest tire check of all time, and that's one of the... Oh my goodness, what a wreck. That was a pile up. So many cars flipping in all different directions. Oh, two-wheeling it over here, and into the podium position we go. And I might even steal a few more there as Mark Martin has a bit of a moment down in turn one. And now we get to hunt down Terry Labonte, who I believe is in that blue and yellow Wrangler car just in front of us. And he's going to run into somebody. Oh, it looked like he might. He still will. He does. He creams that 24 car. He might have taken himself out of the race, though. He doesn't. It shows that he's behind me now. We just sent him flipping over into a barrel roll. That is not the kind of slide job Dale Jr. likes to see. That is not it. But we managed to take the lead nonetheless here. And we've got a couple of laps to go. Why would you pull out right there and you paid with your life? You hate to see it, but you know what? We love to see it because we're in the lead. 
So let's see, power down the back stretch into turn three. Now we gotta watch out, dodge the minefield of cars, and there are a lot of them down here. Scrape that wall, pick up some damage, thread the needle, and we hit a best lap in the process as well. There you go, as oh, Michael Walter puts it head on the wall, being piloted by AJ Foyt. What a combination right there of skill and talent. And we've got a Jeff Gordon car up here. Is that Bobby Hillen Jr. once again, I do believe. Oh no, that's Ricky Rudd in that car, that's right. Oh, in the wall again hard, and that's just a big one right there. Oh, I'm gonna send the five car into a barrel roll, shoving my way through. And we enter the final lap here, and this is gonna be, is this gonna be a second attempt victory? Well, if it is, we won't be anywhere near done. Don't you fret. But this is going to come to a pretty easy one, I would say, as AJ Foyt is 33 seconds behind. We have just been killing him out here today. The NASCAR legends don't know what to do about this track. But that's just fine. We're going to sneak around the outside. Get a tire check at the end there. Just a little baby one. And that will be a win right off the bat right there in our return. That is nice. And, uh, yeah, look at that. We got to scroll up here and see how we did. So we had everybody pinned down pretty, pretty violently, I would say, because there is only the top five running at this race. And Ricky Rudd, the first casualty, uh, well, I guess the last casualty, I guess you would say, but he, uh, he didn't live. He didn't make it. You hate to see it, but we love to see our name on the top of the board. So, That'll do it for the NASCAR Legends already. They, they were pretty easy to school on this track. So let's go ahead. Let's get that Gen 6 Camaro out here. Let's see what that thing can do. All right, we are back here at the track with the NASCAR Gen 6 Camaros. And we are ready to go. We are starting all the way at the tail of the field, too. So this has just automatically become a last to first challenge. So this ought to be interesting. As you can see here, we're rocking the four car here, which it's just, a, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's not really supposed to be anything, but it looks of things. And we're just going to fly up that outside. Once again, these AI do not know what to do on the race start. We squeeze up. Oh, watch out. Yep. Once again with the squeeze, and we've been ass-packed. Pretty brutally off the start, and we, we have just been launched in the air. A wheel has fallen off already. Yep. Yep. That is, a, that is a massive you hate to see it. And you know what? I don't think we have any choice but to sit here and wait for somebody to come clean us out. Oh, look at the, look at the destruction already. Two cars laying already. There's six cars I'm looking at right here incapacitated already and uh oh oh boy yeah this is what i was waiting for this is what i was concerned about yep oh my here we go here we go oh yeah oh what's a break who needs breaks who needs life because we're dead that is it <laughs> we've been absolutely oh and we're still getting t-boned out here this is tragic well there you go davy ellison with the win though so there you go there's one for the alabama gang and uh, we finish a lonesome 21st you hate to see it. But let's see if we can do this again. You know, we're starting on the outside of Matt Kenz is the winner of the 40th Slinger Nationals. There you go, picking up his eighth Slinger Nationals. That's pretty cool. Shout out to Matt the Brat for getting that done. Let's, oh, I don't want to get squeezed on that outside again, though, so I'm going to push myself low. Oh, these guys below on the outside, on the inside. They don't know where to go. Luckily, I do, and we are through the first corner as I'm rubbing up against Bobby Allison. Oh, mini tire check. Had a little tiny one. We got a cone check next. I'm throwing it up the inside of No Neck Newman there. We got behind Kurt Busch, who uh, tragically lost that Daytona race with a poor pit call for the ages. And these guys are going so slow. I'm just going to drive by him. What are you guys doing? Oh, Neil, watch out, Neil. That's an ass backing for the ages. And then I just dumped Kyle Betty. And he, oh, he's going to get me back. He got me back. Yep, and we are in the tires. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, and I've been ass-packed. I was worried that was going to happen. And I've been door-packed now, too. And there goes the wheel. There goes the rear wheel. And there goes any drive we had. We are out of it. Let's see. Will these cars come by and cream me, or am I just enough outside the line to have to worry about it? I think we are. I don't think we're in any kind of danger right here, unless they get maybe three wide or so. But it looks like they're all playing it pretty safe right now. So that'll do it for this attempt. And uh, we'll go ahead and restart. All right, starting again. And then we've got Bill Elliott in front of us here, too. So we've got all kinds of legends and all-stars around us. So let's go ahead and fly it up that outside here. Break a little bit. Or, oh, my. No. Or just not. Or just not even have a chance in the world. And uh, once again, we didn't even make it off the stretch. Oh, my. We're, we're, we're just we're dead before the first corner, basically, is what this is. So... 
I don't know. This might be a danger zone right here. This car is not wanting to go anywhere. So let's see. Let's watch. Let's see how it goes for oh my word. What are you doing? What are you doing? That that was just the most remarkable set of driving decision I had ever seen in my life up to this point, I think. Come on, let me at least get in somebody's spot. Oh, Newman's gonna come in. That's what we get for calling him no neck all the time, and that will do it. And then we get ass packed from behind as well, so. A nice fitting end to our life, yet again. I don't know how many times we've lost it in these races that we do here in Wreckfest, but uh, it's been taken from us many a time, that is for sure. And, uh, wow, Jeff Gordon wins the race. There's a shocker. All right, this last to first challenge has not gone very well thus far, so let's see how we can do this time. I'm actually going to do a call on an audible here. We're going up the inside. Oh, and I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, <laughs> I packed the, I packed the brat. I ass packed the brat. Oh, you, you hate it. You absolutely hate it. Mark Martin, there you go. I have to give a shot to our old buddy Mark. Somehow, some way, we're always glued to each other in these races, but we're, we're going underneath. What a send, what a send, and what an absolute fail of getting into the corner. Come on, I gotta still cut it up underneath here. What about Rusty Wallace? Let's get it up here. I used every inch of my might right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, that's a big, fat, thick with three C's nope right there. Oh, what are we doing, guys? Oh, it's me and Mark Martin once again. Well, excuse me, Mark. I'm gonna hit a bit of a slide job on you right here if I can, and a couple others as well. Oh, no. Ooh, clipped a couple tires there. Mini tire check. Morgan Shepard, roller skater boy. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna end well. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, did I lose one? Yeah, oh, buddy. Oh, now there's an ass package by every definition of the word. At least we can still drive this one, at least. It looks like, anyway. Let's see. Can we get this thing going? Come on. We can at least crawl. We can crawl. Come on. Yeah, 18th place. I'm doing 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 55, 60. Yo, we just get underneath 60, and that's where we stall out. I got takedown assist. I'm triggered because we had to stick one of those in here somewhere. And we are uh, just breaking every land speed record in the books now, as you can see. So we're going to just hold on to it. I'm just going to keep it going. I don't know. We might be able to get something going if there's some drama up ahead. We might get lucky. You never know. There's an ass package for the ages. There's a tire check again. That was just a little baby one again. We got somebody stuck. Bill Elliott stuck in the road. You hate to see it. Ray Elder slowing up, but not enough for me to get by on this three-wheeler. Come on, we can do it. I am flooring the gas right now. Touching six. There we go. We're getting up above 60 now. We're going to hit 75. And we that looks like our max speed anymore is 75 miles an hour. And there's, there's a nice little hit right there. Oh, we got all kinds of pileups forming over here. We got them all wrecking. As we enter the final lap, we might be able to steal a top 10 if there's if this keeps up. Oh, Bobby Labonte picking a weird line in the corner. It shoves me in the wall. Oh, we're going to steal all the positions. Yeah, come on. I want the leaders to wreck so bad so I can steal the win. Oh, it's not going to happen, but Morgan Shepard with the win. What a man. wonder if he was riding roller skates in his car. I sure hope so. But we're going to crack the top 10. We're just going to miss out on a few more spots, it looked like. But we get 8th at the end of the day. So not a bad one. Not a bad one, especially for three wheels. If we can keep all the wheels on them, I think we'll have a pretty easy shot to win. But that's, that's saying a bit at this point. Okay, let's begin it again. In fact, I'm going to do that same strategy I tried last time. I think the inside is the call. Let me try to not assault Matt Kenseth on my way by this time. And they are already getting a little tangled up up here in front of us. Oh, 23's in the wall. Yep, 23's into us. 23's been packed from behind. We got one holding up the entire field back there, and I'm just going to slide job it into there. Oh, no. I am so sorry. And Mark Martin into the wall. You hate to see it. All right, let's see. Bobby Isaac. I just got an awesome Bobby Isaac die cast. His number 71 from 1969. The beautiful... Dodge Charger Daytona, one of the nicest pieces of my collection. Why am I telling you about this? I have no idea, but it is a beautiful car. And if you look at my Twitter, you will see it. Be sure to go follow at Ed Soundhead. Yes, I had to sneak that shameless plug in there. But, uh, I mean, come on, you need to follow me. That way you can watch me spout nonsense on two different platforms instead of just one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's an ass packing right there, ladies and gentlemen. There's been no shortage of those today, huh? And that... 
That move made us up to second here, and Kyle Petty's having a heck of a time getting down the front stretch. What are you doing, Kyle? Oh, what am I doing? I'm just gonna put it in the wall. Radiator's blown. That's nice to know that the radiator is apparently in the passenger door. But that's neither here nor there. We're gonna go ahead and continue on. There's a 95 car just sitting in the road, and I don't even know what I just attempted to do because I have ended this race before we even got to the end. Yep, and uh, and that's just, that's cool. Now we're just a victim. We're just a victim now. Well, this uh, short track special, I don't know if this is really a short track. It's definitely an old school dirt track, though. This is, seems like the kind of thing that NASCAR used to race on back in the early days. But uh, nowadays, far from it, far from it indeed. And that is just a pile up for the ages. Oh, my word. That is one of the worst wrecks we've seen <laughs> in a long while. Man, they are pretty good at piling them up here at this little track. And we just asked back Jeff Gordon on the way by just a little hello. That's just a little Brad Keselowski fan hello to Jeff Gordon is what that is. And we are drag racing Kyle Petty down the front straight. And he's backing out of that thing nice and early. And we are going to steal that lead. Can I sneak to the inside? And no, Neck Newman. No, I can't. No, this is not ideal. This is not good. Oh, no. I am in a bad spot facing the wrong direction. Look at the rear end of this car. And then let's see if we can get back up here to that top five, which we've fallen out up here. And Matt Kenseth yet again. Oh, Matt Kenseth just made a move from fifth to first in one corner. How do he do that? Wait, and then he falls back. Oh, no! We've lost the wheel again. I am sick of it. And Bill Elliott's just going to go ahead and throw a little slap in there, because why not? Why not? Okay. Oh, there's a big one right behind us. We saw that coming. Oh, we're going to see a few more coming here, too. Yes, we are. There goes another wheel. And uh, here goes our life yet again, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just go ahead and watch the death reel here. So we've got 42 health. Who's going to come finish us off? That is a massive T-bone right there from Bobby Isaac. Bobby, I was just complimenting your car, and then this is what you do to me. I can't believe it. There, uh, There is this thing called a brake. You know, there's a steering wheel. You could turn around my car, or you can just plow right through me. And uh, you know what? It wouldn't be banger racing if they didn't just plow right through you. So that's why we love it. The Ryan Newman dead behind us once again. And Carl Edwards in last. No, no. Let's see how this attempt, attempt number 9,473 is underway. Let's see how it goes. Got Fireball Roberts here. We got him wrecking up here yet again. Oh my word. Yep, and we, we're, we just got suplexed. We just had a wrestling move take place on us. I don't know how that managed to happen. I don't know what's going on to us actively, but that's going to be a real reset. And we're back on it after a slight detour into hell. So let's see. Let's not clip that wall again because that was bad. Let's actually try the brakes so that I don't go flying up into that wall and knocking my wheels off. That would be a nice thing to do. Power down. We're just killing these guys on the straights, so we're going to keep doing that. Get on the brakes kind of early here because what a pile up. Oh, that is a block track and an ass back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, get the Kool-Aid man. Where is he at? I need them right now. I need a lot of people right now. I need help. I, I need something. Oh, this is, you guys, you guys really are the ultimate race car drivers, aren't you? The best in the world. Could you imagine? Oh my. Imagine paying money to see this. I'd spend money to see this. I know I would. Oh, what am I looking at? All right, I think this is gonna be a reset, ladies and gentlemen, indeed it will be. And we will continue on with our life. That. That left rear has seen better days, man. Locked up and just dragging. And uh, you, you hate to see it, really. That is not not a technological advancement. That is just trash is what that is. But we're in the top five. Matt Kenseth once again leading. I do not know. Cannot confirm if he moved Matt, Ty Majeski out of the way to get this lead. But uh, we'll go ahead and, and just assume that he did. I've got engine failure for scraping up against the wall. That, that just... That just tells the tale right there of how our day has gone, and Bobby Isaac is going to fall into our clutches yet again as we passed him. I didn't even see him, but Bobby Labonte, too busy creaming the wall and getting creamed by us to care. And then Bobby Isaac is just magically back in front of me again, so I don't know what has happened there. I could not tell you, but I can tell you that this is going to be a struggle to get through, and I think we've lost the wheel again. We have. We've lost the wheel. It's close enough to the end. Let's just finish it off. Come on. I've got, so really I've got two wheels is what's going on because this back one really isn't doing anything. That front one's gone. So I'm just rocking these two wheels right here, basically. And I've taken the lead. How have I done that? And I'm dead.
All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the Wreckfest experience wrapped up into about five seconds right there. Is where you've got two wheels, you take the lead, and then you die. So cool. There is a car that has somehow managed to start this race with damage. I don't know how he's done that. Clearly, Wreckfest is uh, taking a few sips again, but you know what? Yeah, you'll have that sometimes, won't you? All right, let's see if we can get through the turn one meme, which has sort of silently returned, as that is just a horrendous crash, and we're taking a cone with us, apparently, as I scrape that wall and get ass back you. Tire check and back into traffic. That's not going to end well, and it hasn't, and we're over the wall and into a ditch. Where has this come from? Where Who put a ditch in the racetrack? I don't know who managed to do that, but the uh, track designers should be just killed at this point. No, not at all. But, oh, what a tire check. You know, I could be using these right now, because look at the tire. Can we just slap one of these ones on my roof on on that, that, that left front and, and see what happens? No, no, we can't. Okay. Me and Kyle Petty just did the same move into the corner. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to move this thing. Come on. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. No, we can't. We cannot do it, apparently. We are just lacking the ability to do it. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. That is an ass packing and, and just, they, they, oh, and a front packing, too. Nice. Neat. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Spectacular. Stupendous. Unbelievable. Oh, what in the physics on this make no sense, but it's glorious. At the same time, who's going to come finish me off here? Because we're, uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. We only need a little bit more. That's another. You stick a giggity in there, too. Oh, my word. Oh. Oh. There we go. There's a good one. Come on. Finish me off. You can do it. I don't know how I'm still alive at all to begin with, but we'll, uh, come on. Somebody come by. Somebody's got to do it. I don't know what Ryan Newman's trying to do. He's trying to, but he's failing miserably. It's, I don't know who that was flying by on the outside, but let's hit a reset, maybe. No, no, that didn't. Look at, look at that. Look at that ride height. Is that the new, is that the 2021 package? Is that the ride height rules for the new package? Maybe not. Oh my word, that just drove through everybody. Except for me, who I'm, I'm the one. Oh, Mark, Mark, he's gonna drive by me in there. Am I a ghost? Is that the problem? Am I, am I not a solid object anymore? All right, well, you know what, guys? I think we spent enough time here waiting for our life to be ended, unless it happens right here. No, it doesn't. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just hit a restart instead. Okay, I have a good feeling about this one. I think if I can keep the wheels on it, this could be the one. Could be. Could be. Being those key words that we, we need to throw in there, a little disclaimer. So let's just mind our P's and Q's. Sneak up the inside here, breathing on the throttle. We were four wide for a moment there. Into the corner, just gonna, oh, slap wheels a little bit with some others. Nearly missed some cones. Slide job up to the top. Nearly gets spun out. But we saved it. All right. Behind Kurt Busch here in the 95. Carl Edwards in the 44. And we go flying by on the outside with a beautiful drift to add on to it. All right. So it turns out that just babying it across the track is actually the secret ingredient to success, it would seem. But we still have a long way to go. We might be on the lead, but it might not last. Down the front stretch once again. That's another lap completed. Let's see what we can do. Into the corner. Just kind of taking it nice, slow, easy. Little up to the high side there. Kind of slid it up top. Everybody seems to have gone around pretty good. I didn't see any other cars until these ones up here. They're having a time though. Oh man, that 31 car has seen much better days. But we will continue on with a little tire check there. All right, we'll get in the slipstream of this 80. Oh, Tiny Lund. Oh, Tiny Lund, why? Tiny Lund, why? All right, we have like a full straightaway lead over Carl Edwards, so I think we're good. Gotta love it when you can just crash and, and do a full turnaround and 15 point turn and get back into it in the lead. Looking like a Formula One race out here, but you know what? We won't talk about that. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, Dick Brooks, you hate to see it, and I, I've killed him. I've taken him. What is that? The car is a transformer. What are, th what, the, what are, what are you? What are you? Oh, here we go. Yep. Here we go. This is where it falls apart. Right in the same corner. Oh my goodness. Neat. Great. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yep. I blame Tiny Lund for that. I'll never forget. 
what Tiny Lund has done to us on this day in Wreckfest. It will never be forgotten, and I'm going to try the outside this time for just whatever reason. I'm hitting every tire on the way. Bye. Can I squeeze through the outside? No, I can't. Wow. Here we go. Yep. That's how you start a race successful. All right. Well, the outside lane is definitely not the way to do it. And uh, the camber on that rear wheel is just ungodly. There it is. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, whoever that was. They definitely tried. They put themselves in the wall and hurt their own race. So, ha ha, suckers. And then I just kill. I just sent Mark Martin into orbit. I sent him into another dimension, and then he lands in my he lands in my engine bay and kills me instead. So I just I just inadvertently led to my own demise right there. Neat. Okay. I am gonna swing back to the inside after I give Matt Kenseth the shot. And then everybody just pulls away from me. But into turn one, there's chaos, there's death, there's destruction. And there's a block track that I, 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 I'm just gonna hit the brakes. I'm just, or, or I could just get head on hit by somebody not knowing how to drive, okay. But we made it to the huge one, that's important. At Daytona, that could've won you a race. If you're, if you're Justin Haley, then a lightning bolt could do it too, but you never know. By the way, shout out to Justin Haley. Okay. Into the top 10. All right. And here's, here's the field. Oh, oh, and it's part two of, of part one. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. I can't see. There we go. All right. Ah, don't touch me. To the lead. In one corner. When you pass literally the entire pack in one corner and get your best lap. All right. Okay, I got a cone. Get off of me. We just got to mind our business. I'm too scared to articulate words, so I'm just going to say okay about 50 more times before this race ends. If that's cool with you guys, it's cool with me. Ah! Thread the needle. No. Or no needle to be thread. Threaded. Okay. Two to go. We can do this. I believe, I believe I will not be destroyed, ass packed, killed, maimed, eaten, squeezed, shoved, and any other words that you can stick into that. Final lap. This one's for all the money right here. Morgan Shepard, get your roller skate ride himself out of my way. I'm trying to achieve eternal glory and down the backstretch for the final time into turn three. We're only a few banked corners away. We're gonna do it off of turn four, cross the line, and it only took us about 16 centuries, but it finally happened. We finally get the win and everybody else has been schooled on this day because we had them pinned down a lap over the field so there you go. Morgan Shepard didn't end up getting second place. No Neck Newman in fourth. Let's go ahead and see the rest of the finishing order. Mark Martin in 18th. You hate to see it. And Rusty Wallace in last. Tragic. Didn't even complete a lap. Neither did Kurt Busch. Very tough. And Matt Kenseth in 20th. Well, you know what? He matches his, his number. Well, his previous number. There you go. All right, well, that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that was a fantastic return to Wreckfest. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we are at 200,000. We're going to keep going. And uh, you know what? Next up is, what, a quarter million? That'd be a pretty cool one to hit. So let's see if we can get that one done. If we could hit a quarter million before the end of the year, I'll consider 2019 a dashing success. So... Thank you all so much, of course, though. We couldn't have got here without you. And uh, I'm just very, very thankful to all of you. So thank you very much. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!